Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It's Two Sushi here, and today I'm bringing you a walkthrough of how to defeat the Great Shinobi Owl on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This footage has been captured on my PS4 Pro. Um, I'm recording the audio after <laughs> getting the footage, uh, just so I could talk through my tactic um, or strategy. So this fight's activated if you choose to side with uh, Kuro um, after you're asked uh, a certain question by Al. Uh, this is pretty much near the end of the game. Um, so what we're going to do in this fight, I suggest that uh, we play it safe. So what you'll notice is that he's got a particular attack pattern. So whenever you see him throw the shuriken and do the jumping slash, that's when we're going to go in and do... Uh, two slashes with the mortal blade There we go, so as you can see and then we're just gonna jump back You'll sometimes get hit when you jump back, but yeah So as you can see get to the other side of the map. Just wait for him to run at you throw the shuriken and then mortal blade twice if you can If you leave it too long, uh, you just need to judge it really if you leave it too long just do one slash and then jump back. So, as you can see, he'll keep running after you. He'll do a lot of slashes, but a lot of the time he will throw the shurikens. And when he normally does that, that's when you want to leap outside, um, step away from that jumping slash. And then literally, there you go, run around it. Go in. There we go. And it's just rinse and repeat. Uh, this way, uh, it'll take a bit of time, but this is the easiest method I've found because if you're gonna go in to the thick of it, just deflecting and defending, um, he'll just overwhelm you. Even with um, you know, obviously the life bar that I've got and the attack power that I've got, which at the time I think was eight. Um, I think you can only get to the section once you've got the mortal blade, but yeah, this is the best offence against him. So yeah, you'll, you'll end up running away from him a lot, but... Oh! Yeah, see, I made a bit of a misjudgement there. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're at one of the corners. Sure you can slash, go in. Oh! Get two slashes, jump back. So as you can see, there's a pattern to my movement. Come on. just want to be careful because the camera can get a bit funny when you go uh, against some of the obviously the fencing and the walls there we go the first death blow now on the second phase don't be fooled by this don't be fooled see there we go see I fell for it so in the second phase, in addition to his normal attack pattern, he will uh, drop some poison uh, smoke bombs and gases. So it's just the same strat as before. Just try and keep out of the way of the poison if you can. Use your antidote powders. Um, I'm refraining from using any power-ups at the moment because if I stand idle, and do them, you know, like using your sugars. There's every chance that you can just come in and do a combo on me. There you go. Use your business as before. See, as you can see, I'm making a few errors here. Just make sure you only attack when after he's done that jumping slash. That's the only point you want to be attacking. that mortal blade that, that gets some big damage on him oh 
Well, I don't know what I was doing here. I was probably just grabbing my cup of tea. Oh, there we go. Come on, there we go. Nearly there. Oh, God, by the skin of my teeth. God, look how close that was. Good grief. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh no, see this is the point where my hands are absolutely fucking sweating. Oh fuck it, get him. Anyway guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, any comments are appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video, if there is a next video. See you later.